So hotels are taking the power of social media now to a new level, redefining the travel experience or trying to in the digital age. And the first Twitter-themed hotel, Twitter-themed hotel, opened up in Spain, and now there's the first Instagram hotel, apparently, in Sydney, Australia. So we bring in the travel expert, Cecile Robin Hammer, to tell us a little bit more about this trend such as it is. Good to see you. Is this true that the, there's a Twitter-themed hotel? And if so, what does a regular person need to know about something like that? Hi, thank you so much for having me. Yes, we definitely have, uh, there was the first Twitter-themed hotel that started in Mallorca, mm -hmm. and now we have our first Instagram hotel that recently opened in Sydney. <laughs> it's called the 1888 Hotel, and their first claim is that they are apparently the world's first Instagram hotel. So basically what that means is that it is a hotel that's really focused on the fact that their consumers use Instagram. So therefore, they have a whole space in the lobby where someone can use selfies. Um, and <laughs> actually, once you take a picture, you actually hashtag it. And uh, there's a screen in the lobby where your photo will just magically appear. Well, there's a what could possibly go wrong situation there. They're signing up to stay at that hotel for a while, depending on your lifestyle, I guess. Now, that said, the actual use of social media for somebody you know, in your business, what do you tell people? Can they get good deals using Twitter and Instagram? Should, or I mean not Instagram, but Twitter uh, and Facebook and on and on? Or is it something they should incorporate as they're looking you know, for a vacation deal? There's definitely, social media is a, is a huge powerful force when it comes to actually being able to book deals. And, and what we see, there's a trend where fans, there's a buying power. For example, this hotel, they've, they've structured it where if you have over 10,000 Instagram followers and you share photos of your stay, right. they will actually give you a complimentary night. So we see that there's a, there's a buying power, there's a, there's a sense of a social currency that's now being created. And um, it, it's no longer just about grabbing your 10 favorite friends and having them share photos, but Right. That there's a there's a viral effect. Well, I think it's always been the case to, to be serious about these businesses is how would they evolve and would they get into these types of things so that, as you say, it's not just, mm -hmm. you know, telling people what you had for lunch or taking pictures of your friends, that there's a sustainable business uh, for whether it's Instagram, Twitter, on and on. Before we let you go, you have any good last minute deals? Maybe I don't know if it's Christmas, but definitely for New Year's, people looking to get away or? There's a lot of great, great places. I mean, I think definitely go take the usual suspects. We've got Travelocity, Expedia, all of those. Um, Guilt Jet Setter also has some great tips. And then for those of us that can't get away, Hotels Tonight is a great app for those last minute staycation holiday deals. Yeah, if you both stay in Miami, it'd be a pretty good deal, I would think, with the weather. Thank you. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> Can't beat it, Cecile. Thank you very much. Cecile Robinheimer with us. <laughs> Merry from Christmas. Saudi Miami, and Merry Christmas to you too.